Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a <clears throat> damn. What am I showing? Oh, a lobby. Yes, like a little lobby where, like, you know, what I'm talking about where, like, you join the server and it's like it's only one player servers, or sometimes it might be more one player, but usually it's like one player servers. You join, you have like a um little screen. Sometimes like you have a loading screen, but usually you just have like a main menu screen. <clears throat> you just have like multiple options and buttons and stuff depending on the game. Some games might have like a like this game play or might have like a story mode and multiplayer, you know. Y'all know what to want. But yeah, so I'm gonna just use the play one, right? So I've already made my GUI and stuff simply because it it took me a minute to figure out like positioning and stuff for like the twining, so that's why it's already pre made and stuff, but I'll go through the steps to show you guys how to how to make this. So yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so obviously you want to head on over to start a GUI, right? You want to insert a screen GUI, right? And then you can go ahead and name this menu GUI, right? And then which, and then I want you to go ahead and tick this box that says ignore GUI no set in the properties menu for uh, menu GUI. <coughs> I want you to make sure it's ticked, ignore GUI no set, right? Then we're going to open this up and then you can insert a frame. And then I want you to name that frame menu frame right and then you could just use the same size I have 0 comma 2000 0 comma 2000 the whole point is it the whole point of it is so that it fills like the entire screen and stuff so yeah right the position might look a little weird in studio but when I actually test the game I'm gonna show you guys when I actually test the game I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when like in an actual server not in studio to show you guys like the difference but anyway so then I have, I inserted a UI gradient. This is how I have the colors. If you're wondering how I have like different colors here, this is how I have the colors and stuff, right? <clears throat> then you want to insert a text label. You can insert a text label into the menu frame. Then you call this menu title text label. Then you would just put this at the top of your screen and then you would just name it whatever you want. I just chose the name of my channel, no cap studio, right? Then you're going to want to insert a play button this is the play button that like you click, you click play then a menu will drop down and it'll give you options to where you want to teleport to right so inside we have our play script which is a local script right so we get the local player right well actually now that i think about it i don't really think we need the local player to be honest with you. Uh, you know actually i am going to uh, uh Mm, I mean, uh, I feel like we're good. Uh, well, we could really do this. Because I, I made this, I tried to make this as quick as possible. Um, And then just for the sake of just avoiding errors in case anybody does this differently. We'll do it like that. Okay, there you go. But yeah, so you'll make a variable. We'll get the local player, right? Then you do script up here and the mouse click. Mouse button one click connect function, right? We'll make a variable for the play button, which is the script up parent, right? Then we'll tween it. If you don't know what tween means, it pretty much means to animate UI, right? This is the position that you want it to go to, which pretty much means it'll like it'll stay like how it's like in the middle. It'll stay there, but it'll go up, but it won't move to the left or right or at, at all. It'll literally just go up, right? So that's what you would adjust here if you want to change that, right? Then we have our easing direction. Of course, we want it to go out since it's like leaving. Then I chose linear. You guys can choose a different style up to you. Then I want it to be done after a second, but it's completely up to y'all. Then I used a repeat wait until loop, which pretty much means it will continue to wait until the condition is met. So pretty much until the play button position is equal to that of the twin position position, if that makes sense. Pretty much, just to pretty much put it simply, this will not this will not happen until the GUI has reached this position where it's being tweened to, right? Then it'll proceed to disable the play button and then enable the map frame, right? So we're done with we're done with the play button. Reminder that all these scripts will be in the description, so you don't have to worry about like copying it down from the video. But yeah, we can go to the map frame, open that up, right? Let me go ahead and make it visible, right? So. You guys can obviously make this differently. Of course, you could obviously say this is Russian, this isn't too special, but the point is I inserted two text buttons, right? Map one, map two, only map one works because for the sake of the video, I only need one map to demonstrate, right? And then we have a map two text label, right? So the text label obviously says like where the teleport it is, like where it goes to, where it'll take you to. And then we have the uh, teleport button, which actually you click to, to go to set destinated location. 
Then we have our teleport script. You guys have seen this before if you've watched my other videos and stuff, right? When the player clicks it, it'll um say teleporting dot 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 dot. Just want to put this out there and just want to put this out there so people know. You cannot teleport to other places inside of studio. You have to test in an actual server. If you don't know what I mean by that, leave a comment down below and I'll explain it to you and stuff. Do not try to test in studio. It will not work. But anyway, yeah. Then we'll teleport uh, the player. I'm going to teleport the player and then script up parent to parent, which pretty much just means we're going parent, 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 until we get to the player, right? It changes to teleporting because, like, you know, that's just usually what would happen in a game. It's just letting the player know that, like, it's working. Just, you know, sit tight. You feel me? So that's it with that. And I think that was, yeah, I think it was it, to be honest. Yeah, that's really it, to be honest with y'all. Uh, but make sure you have the map frame set to disable, right? You don't want, or not visible, I should say, right? So let me publish this, right? Now, I'm going to go on over to my, to the place, like the actual published place. I'm going to open it up, and then I'm going to switch my screen so that you guys are able to see it. So hold on real quick. You guys should be able to see it now. Okay, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's like actually like in, it's like actually centered properly. Well, except for the play button. The play button should be more down, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, if I click play, as you guys can see, it animates. It goes up. Um, I'm not sure why. It's not it's weird. Map frame is not about. Menu GUI. Hmm, that's weird. I probably should have left it as is. Wait, hold on. Let's go back here. It says map frame is not a valid member of map GUI. Map frame is not a valid member of map. Menu GUI. Oh, oh, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. Okay, do menu frame, then map frame. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. I forgot. All right. Well, and make sure you publish. Make sure you publish. You can, like literally, it only uh the game the actual game only have what you what you have like actually published, right? So then I'll switch back over in a second to Roblox. Uh, when it decides to work. Okay, there we go. All right. We'll click play. It'll animate its way up, and boom, we have our teleport. I'll click to teleport to map one. It'll change the teleporting, and boom. This is my second, this is the second place within that experience, and boom, that's how you guys do it pretty much, right? It's pretty simple. But yeah, that's how you guys make uh, lobbies. If you're wondering, if you're wondering how to have like one player lobbies, uh, you would just go up here, click game settings. I know you guys can't see the place, but um, you would just click game settings, then you would click, you would just, uh, go down to places, then you would find your place. I know you guys can't see this, but I'm going to just explain it. Then you would click the three little dots to the right next to the place that you're trying to edit then you click configure place and then where it says max players you would just set that to one for anyone wondering how to set, set uh the max players but anyway i hope this video was helpful if it was leave a like subscribe links to join my roblox group and discord server can be found in the description down below remind that all scripts will be found in the description if you guys need any help at all leave a comment down below or join the discord and ping me for help and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys